Hello, I'm David Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. President Trump's attorney spent hours trying to undermine the certified results of Michigan's election. Rudy Giuliani and a few witnesses spoke to the State House Oversight Committee on Wednesday. He alleges there was massive fraud, but court after court has dismissed Trump lawsuits for lack of evidence. President-elect Joe Biden has been certified as the state's winner. Uh, police released new photos in the search for a woman wanted in Canton. They show her pointing a gun during a robbery at Alcohol Drug Administrative Monitoring. Police say she shot an employee and stole an undisclosed amount of cash. This happened on Lily Road the night of November 16th. The worker who was shot suffered a non-life-threatening injury. A decision by a federal judge is a big disappointment for Michigan bars and restaurants. They sued to reopen dine-in service that was shut down under a pandemic health department order November 15th, but the judge sided with the state. The Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association says it will now focus on trying to make sure there is no extension of the three-week order that expires next week. Crews will be back at it this morning as they try to free a big freighter stuck on the Detroit River. The Harvest Spirit, owned by a Canadian company, ran aground near Gros Eel Wednesday after losing power. Then as traffic rerouted, another cargo ship called the Gardno touched bottom. It dropped anchor to be checked for damage. The Canadian Coast Guard says no injuries were reported. We're also told the issues did not cause any pollution. Here's meteorologist Hallie Vogel now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. All right, thanks, Dave. We'll squeeze in one more dry day before a quick moving clipper system comes in Friday and brings us a chance for light snow or a little bit of a mix. Right now, the weekend looks dry with temperatures near 40.